What's up guys and welcome to Ripping and Tearing Packs. If you're new to this channel and you happen to stumble across here the video, um, welcome, 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 welcome. Come one, come all. Um, you know, if you're new again, it's a twice a week soccer unboxing channel. We open up anything and everything soccer cards and soccer memorabilia. We open up blaster boxes, hobby boxes, cereal boxes, hanger boxes, or hanger packages. Again, anything and everything soccer we open up on this channel. Um, and uh, for today's episode, we've got two blaster boxes here from the Road to the World Cup. And it looks like, I don't know, about seven or seven or so uh, eBay or whatnot packages. And again, I have no idea what is in these eBay and whatnot packages. Um, so your guess is going to be as good as mine as to what I'm unboxing. But uh, hopefully we'll have some good luck. If you saw last time, the last episode, got a little bit of disappointment there um, from their CR7. Uh, 2014 Panini Prism World Cup card. So hopefully we'll get a little bit of a bounce back here this episode. We'll get a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a bounce back. Maybe we're finally gonna find our autograph card here from our blaster box from the Road to the World Cup here. That's all we're looking for. Um, but one thing I'll mention to you that uh, I, you know I always fail to mention usually at the beginning of these episodes. If you like some of the cards here that I'm unboxing there's a high likelihood that you can find them on eBay or whatnot. And I'll link my stores here in the description below. Um, what we're trying to do here with these blaster boxes, usually we open up one an episode, but I was just like, screw it guys. Um, let's open up two today. I don't know. This episode, I'm feeling just a little lucky. Who knows? Um, but what we're trying to do here with these blaster boxes, I'm just trying to unbox one, and I mean one autograph card. I've opened up something like 40 or almost 50 of these blaster boxes, and we have never unboxed an autograph card. Like, I guess this is like the litmus test as to how many of these cards or how many of these blaster boxes you have to unbox to actually go ahead and get yourself an autograph card. And the answer is a whole hell of a lot of them. <laughs> so, you know, if you wanna buy blaster boxes in hopes that you'll go ahead and find an autograph card, um, don't be so foolish. Do not be so foolhearted because the likelihood of that is, I'd say, highly unlikely. I mean, this is again, episode like 45, episode 50, I don't know. I lose track the more episodes I do. Um, let's see who we got. On the hyper, some fella from Australia who I have no idea who that is. And you know, it's like, as you're unboxing these, from the blaster box, the more and more that you unbox, the more you're like, holy crap, am I cursed? Am I just on a really cold streak? It's just like, I don't even care who it is that that's on the autograph, to be honest with you. If I like got an autograph card, I'd be jumping for joy. And I'd be like in jubilation, jubilee, Shirak uh, Oh, Oh, Vin Vinicius Jr., Luke Shaw here on the hyper. All righty, almost one blaster box down, oh man. I'm starting to sweat. Maybe my luck is not going on right now. Aaron Ramsey, Cavani. Okay. And Mateus Ginter here on the give and go. All righty. On to blaster box number two. Cavani. Lucas Paqueta. Oh, Christian Pulisic on the hollow. Not bad. Not bad. A little Captain America on the hollow. And Paqueta is a hell of a player there for West Ham. Harry Kane on the orange fluorescent. Not bad. I know we don't have our autograph card here, but not bad. Not bad luck, guys. Bakayo Saka, Thibaut Courtois, and Bumgarner on the hyper. Alrighty, Marcos Llorente here on the orange fluorescent. Oh man, I'm about to go through as much luck as I thought we had. I guess we didn't. And Golo Conti. Oh, oh no. Oh shit. <laughs> Here's another episode where we will not have an autograph card. Oh Jesus. Oh, another one. No. Oh. Terrible. Oh, just looking for one auto. 
shit, man. I don't know. At this point, I'm willing to shake shit up, man. I don't know. I'm, I, I, I guess, I guess the blaster boxes have finally defeated me. I'm just, I'm like, man, I'm not sure how many more of those blaster boxes I can open up there with no chance of an auto or a very limited chance. I mean, I've opened up probably about like 50. I mean, I've opened up probably about like 50 of those blaster boxes without an auto. So I think I'm going to go ahead and maybe change up, guys. I've got to change up the goal, change up the quest. Oh, <laughs> okay. So we definitely have some good mixed in here. Um, we've got a David Silva here, 9 Mint 2014 Panini Prism World Cup card. Um, and again, as I, I guess I mentioned a little bit earlier on today in the show, I PC that 2014 Panini Prism World Cup set. So I am on a mission right now to try to buy as much of those, I guess, as I can because I love these cards. I love the cards. The 2014 set is the first set that Panini actually, or Panini released their Prism cards here for the World Cup. So it always adds a little bit more of that special oomph on it here. And you got here David Silva, nine mint there from Spain. That's just a beautiful looking card. Last episode, we got a little bit of the, I guess the uh, skunk's luck or a little bit of an unlucky pull there on a CR7, um, <laughs> on an aerial assault. And anybody knows who collects this or is familiar with this set, a CR7 card um, from this set is an expensive one. So uh, hopefully we get a little bit of better luck here for these few raw cards that we've got. So we've got here a Seth Fabregas and a Javier Mascherano. All righty, guys. So <laughs> long story short, I've got a whole bunch of these 2014 raw cards. Like, like, for example, I just kind of went ahead and ripped all the crap off of it so we can just see everything pretty smooth. Um, I'll be honest, this Espina card looks like it's in pretty good shape um, here. I mean, like, a lot of these are looking in pretty good shape. I wasn't seeing anything glaring that would stop them from being, like, a 9 or so. And, like, you know, you got, like, Columbia here. That's a cool one there. Um, a blue prism. Got a little bit, again, of that whitening there on the corner, as to be expected with the majority of these cards. And that's why a lot of them, it's really tough to gem. We've got here from Ghana. We've got here out of 199. And, again, all of these looked to be in pretty decent shape here, um, like nines or aboves. But, uh, you know, I didn't see any glaring issue on these, which I tell you, definitely makes me a little bit reassured um, because, you know, for this strategy, I'm just, you know, buying all these cards raw and trying to just take a quick glance at them online. Tough to tell which ones are going to do well and which ones are going to grade poorly. So, you know, at least it was nice to see that these ones came in pretty decent shape here. Eden Jekko here. And we've got here, again, a few of those host city cards. Baby, looky here. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. I think I've got at least one of him already there. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, 9 mint Beckett graded here from that 06 World Cup set, which I PC. And a 10 gem mint Kareem Adiemi here. Rookie card from Topps Chrome. Steve Aoki, number to 199. Not bad at all, ladies and gents. Not bad at all. Oh, my goodness, guys. Oh, my gosh. Wayne Rooney, 10 gem, mint 10 on the auto here in his England kit. Numbered to 10. 5 of 10 for Wayne Rooney. 10 gem, mint 10 on the auto. Oh my God, that is one sexy card, guys. That is absolutely beautiful. Whew. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Another from that 2014 set here. We've got here a Falcao and Neymar. Looky here, nine mint on the silver on that prism here. Looky here, a Falcao and Neymar. That's beautiful. And like you could see... 
For these nine mints, I mean, the edges are really tough to grade well. I know it's tough to see, but it's got a little bit of whitening here in the top left. So, again, you know, I I'm just trying to use these cards as barometers, hopefully as to maybe a harbinger for good grades on all of the other raw cards I've been buying. Jude Bellingham, 9.5 mint plus purple waiver factor to two ninety nine from Topps Chrome. That's a beautiful Jude card right here. Oof. I don't know what's in this, but uh, that is very oddly packaged. I hope this is like a slab or something and not some loose cards. Like Carlos Pollo. Look at this, Casillas, 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 Sergio Aguero, Pollo. Looky here, Raul, Raul. Mega cracked here of Kaká. A Carlos Pollo, Ruud van Nistelrooy, Ruud van Nistelrooy. Nice little card here from Pollo. Samuel Eto and Samuel Eto. So a whole bunch of these. I'll take a closer look at these to see if these are worth any, like maybe like one or two, maybe are worth grading or something. But uh, I just love those Moody Chromo Mega Crack cards. Yeah, guys, and there's one more package I need to unbox you real quick. I forgot I had this in a, in a bin of these unopened cards. And uh, hopefully this will help us put a little bit of a dent. Oh, shit. And all the cards that I still need to unbox. Oh, baby. Again, right to the PC from that England set. Or from that... And baby, right to the PC. That 2014 Panini Prism World Cup set, England. And you'll notice that on all of these England cards. Before 2018, you'll notice that none of the cards actually have the crest. So it's the same thing with the 06, the 2010, the 2014 set. Um, England did not sell the rights, I guess, um, for Panini to go ahead and use their crest. But we've got here a 9 mint from England here, numbered to 199 from that 2014 set. And Billy Gilmore, 9 mint here, rookie card, 9 mint on the card, 10 on the auto. And this is, I think he's having a hell of a year for Brighton, if I remember correct. Number to 150 here for Billy Gilmore. Look at this, Luka Susic. A rookie here, a purple wave, number to 99 here, 9 mint there by Susic. Gotta like that. And Obafemi, guys, he is, again, this was his rookie card here from Southampton, but he plays for the Burnley Clarets. He's been injured, I think, with a hamstring injury, if I remember from the beginning of the year. But Obafemi, I hope he plays well. But again, that goes right to the PC for me. Jude Bellingham, 10 gem mint here, rookie card. Jude, that's a beautiful one. Oh my gosh. Are you seeing this, guys? Nine mint Spain. Is this a red prism? Yes, a red prism here. Number to 149. And look at this. A nine mint pink back here. A Holland there. Rookie sticker. Holy shit, guys. Not bad at all with our polls. Oh my goodness. Guys, what a fantastic unboxing of the books. I'm going to have to go ahead and probably take a little bit of a closer look at all of these raw 2014 Panini Prism World Cup cards that I've been buying. Um, this is, I guess, one of the issues when you don't open up and you're not current with all the cards that you're unboxing. You just need to make sure that you're hitting a lot more of the ones than you're missing, especially if I'm just trying to get them graded for the PC. You know, you don't want to be wasting money on cards that, you know, if you, I look at it like this, if it's a nine or above, I'll keep it for the PC, but eights are just, oh, there's something about an eight that just makes me want to go uh, dry heave a little bit, <laughs> but I need to start opening up the cards a little quicker, taking a little bit of a closer look at what I'm actually purchasing there from that 2014 set to make sure they're at that quality standard. And I guess get a PSA submission sent away because again, I've never done a submission and I could just be coming back with all eights or worse. Who the hell knows? Um, I, I, I've got to get caught up. And that means more video, right? How does that, what does that mean for you guys? That's a good thing. More videos coming your way. That means more unboxing, more editing, more work. Um, so I, I've got to get to work though, guys. Thank you so much for always the support. 
Um, thank you so much for watching the videos, guys. Um, and again, if you like the content, make sure you subscribe, make sure to like the video, and we'll see you guys real soon.